Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast cake for one. Um, this is one of my favorite weekend breakfast recipes. It's only got about 150 calories and um, practically no fat, which you know isn't always a good thing, but that means you can slather it with tons of butter and make it taste awesome. So if this is pretty simple. It's a coconut flour based recipe. What I'm going to start off by doing is greasing my first bowl. Um, this is the one that I'm going to cook it in in the microwave and you want to use something that's pretty thin um, just like a, a corral bowl or whatnot, not like a ring can or anything because those are so thick that it takes a while for them to cook and I'm just going to grease it with coconut oil on the bottom so my cake doesn't stick. Get the sides too. Set that aside for a minute. I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together. I said my it was coconut based, coconut flour, flour base, so I'm using only one tablespoon of coconut flour. And then I'm using two tablespoons of protein powder. Um, you can maybe just use an extra tablespoon of coconut flour if you don't have it. I actually find that this is a good recipe to get rid of yucky protein powder that I don't like, which is why I'm not showing the brand at the moment, but this is a pea protein powder that I bought and it doesn't taste very good. But it's fine in this because the chocolate kind of hides the flavor. So then that's two tablespoons of protein powder, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. You don't want to use any baking soda in this because it gives it a funny taste. And just a sprinkle of salt, not even an eighth teaspoon. Whisk that all together. Just get those dry ingredients mixed. And then you're going to add your wet ingredients. And all your wet ingredients are is canned pumpkin. This is a brand that I use. Uh, it's cheap. I found it on Amazon. It's got free super saver shipping. It's cheaper than anything I can find in the store and it's organic. But I have some open already so I'll just do my two tablespoons of this and drop it on top. And a quarter cup of egg whites. You don't want to use a whole egg in this recipe. Um, I've tried it before, it just, for some reason it doesn't turn out as well as just using egg whites. So, quarter cup is four tablespoons. And if you want, you can add a drop of stevia or you can add a drop of vanilla. I like it better with just a drop of vanilla. You're going to mix this all together and make sure that you mush that pumpkin in there. Scrape down the sides. See how this is the batter is kind of dry. Mix it in a little bit. Alright, you can see my batter is kind of dry, so I'm just going to add water by the tablespoon. And eventually when you get the hang of it, you can just add water and keep mixing. We'll start off with two tablespoons. And I think I might need another two. The coconut flour absorbs water like crazy. So if you if you end up um, adding too much water, you can just let it sit for a little while and it's going to kind of dry out a little bit. This is about perfect consistency, so I used about a quarter cup of water. See how it's, it's kind of hard to whisk, but it's not running off my fork. Now here's the fun part. This is, it's great just like this, or you can add like chocolate chips. I like to add frozen blueberries. And just mix those in. Now, now 
I'm going to transfer this to my other bowl, my grease bowl. And flatten it out. Alright, this is going in the microwave for four minutes. I have a pretty weak microwave, so if you have a, if you have a higher watt microwave, um, I would say start off by two. But basically you want to cook it one time, um, a long time until the middle is not mushy anymore. And then I'll show you what to do after, the four, after your first four minutes is complete. My cocoa cake's out of the microwave, and you can see it's risen and puffed up, and it's not mushy anymore. So there's just one more step that I'm going to do, and this is to keep the bottom from getting soggy, because coconut flour, like I said, is such a funny thing to work with. Um, so I'm just going to flip it out and see how I, gre I grease my bowl up so it comes out nice. But it's a little bit actually wet on the bottom. So what I did is got a paper towel and folded it over, and I'm just going to put that into the bowl put my cocoa cake back in there and I'm going to cook it for another minute and a half and then it's done after that. You can slice it, I like to slice it halfway down the middle, put some butter on it, you know, peanut butter, whatever. Um, these are also great um, the next day, like if you want to put them in, their, in the refrigerator, they only just get more fudgy and moist and delicious. So I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next time.